A what? And then crank. Oh, 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 okay. <laughs>up guys nick with wicked tune here just want to get you an update on the ct5b uh, we've got all the feed and return lines ran up here it'll be covered up with uh, some heat shielding and stuff so you won't see it uh, we're gonna have a return to the tank and a feed obviously coming from um, the tank uh, along with the stock fuel line so we'll have two going up to the top uh, teed in with our port injection uh, And yeah, that's about it back with our CT5 Blackwing 1000 horsepower project. Uh, seen as how for or Aeromotive, nobody makes an aftermarket fuel pump for it. We had to come up with our own solution here utilizing the stock fuel pump module. Uh, we're integrating a 450 liter per hour pump auxiliary for our port injection, uh, which is also going to tie into our standard system for the high pressure pump as well. Should give us plenty of fuel for ethanol and 93 and 1000 horsepower. You just call me Professor at the end. And it has what they call the Dorito. A what? A lot of people call it Dorito. Dorito. Yeah. So it's... It's got a, basically a triangle in there, which is the rotor. Oh. And then the crank is here. Yeah. And this basically spins around in this area. Interesting. And each area would be like, there's spark plug. Or like what makes it different than like a well there's no pistons oh okay so this spins around and that's what makes your power oh i see cool so is it smaller or bigger dimensionally yeah a smaller smaller and also um cubic inch like if you were to fill yeah. it like in liters and stuff uh -huh. also smaller but the interesting aspect of a rotor yeah. is because they're only about you know the the rotor part is only about this wide and realistic oh, and then you put a plate in between and you can bolt another one of these up to it Whoa. so, so like you can just keep stacking these yeah essentially. no way oh, That's dang. Why, so when i had you look up four rotor then four of these four of these put together oh. yeah yeah the problem is is that the they, they have a failure point uh-huh because in a in a in a engine you have compression rings yeah that hold that pressure up top to make the combustion well, they, they have what's called apex seals. So the little tiny little flat seals that stick out. And that seals this area off when the rotor comes up to meet the comb combustion area. Well, because it spins like that, yeah. it wears the hell out of these rotor, these apex seals. And then it starts to burn oil, which is what keeps everything moving. Yeah. yeah. Thank you for the, the lesson, Mr. Yeah. Adam. They're super bad. Supposedly they're coming back with the new design that's supposed to be way better. Really? Yep. What's up guys, Nick with Wicked Tuned here. Got this 2014 Jaguar F-Type R. Uh, we're gonna do some spark plugs on it and then do some bass lines and then tune it.
What's up guys, Nick here with Wicked Tune. Got this 14 Jaguar uh, F-Type R and uh, we're doing a little tuning on it. Uh, I brought it from San Antonio. Um, I already had a tune on it. Uh, I wanted to see what more he could get out of it. Uh, unfortunately, these have a cooling system that's tied together, so it gets hot really quick. Um, so I wasn't able to do too many uh, good pulls on it without having to cool down for a while. I uh, was able to pick up, I want to say 40 horse and maybe 20 torque. It's gonna rain. It's not gonna rain. Oh, it's gonna rain, look. Look up there. Oh, it's gonna rain, it's gonna rain. Dark clouds approaching. It's gonna rain. One clip. Yes. Yes, I do it. Do it. Do it. What's going on guys we're gonna do a would you rather type of segment so we have two questions uh, we're gonna ask people would they rather have a Chevy or a Ford and the other one is would you rather have an Audi or a BMW so we're gonna ask people that um, also if you're enjoying our content don't forget to like like and subscribe and also subscribe to our sponsor over at Bolt Motorsports and check out their website after all that we're going to ask people what they thought other people said and if they win or if they're correct they get 300 bucks by the way, this is also complete and real money. money. It's real money. It's, it's real, money. real money. It's real money. No, it's not. Okay. okay. So, would you prefer? What would you take? A Chevy or a Ford? It depends on the vehicle. You have to pick one. Overall, I would rather have a Camaro over a Mustang, but I'd rather have an F-150 over the Sierra. No, it's, it's easy, <laughs> Dude, but that makes my job Silverado. Yeah, very hard. Yeah. Uh, Just pick a brand. Which brand loyalty it do you have? Depends on the vehicle. If it's um, uh... <laughs> you're making this hard. Okay, let's let's just say Camaro or Mustang for. Okay. Yeah, just say Mustang. Okay. Okay. Mustang. okay. So we'll We're switching up. No, no, no. Yeah. We All keep right. rolling. So All you're right. what? You're Camaro over Mustang? All right. Yeah, Camaro yeah. or Mustang. Camaro and Corvette <clears throat> over Mustang and Mustang. <gasps> Okay. All right. Okay. So write them down as. All right. All right. One more question for you. Okay. This is more like not as broad as. Yeah. Chevy. Audi or BMW? Hmm. Dang. That's a hard one. That also depends on. The no. Vehicle. I would rather have an RS Q8 than an X5M. Okay. Right. But at the same time, if I'm gonna get like a sedan, you know, I'd rather have the BMW like. The M3. I mean, he's, he's got a point. Over, he's got over a point. like an uh, Audi S4. Okay. But. Which one do you like more, though? I like the RS6 of Okay. Everything. So I, I'd go without it. Okay. All right. All right. Cool. Jack can't hear you, though? <laughs> okay. <clears throat> All right. Yes, yes. So we're going to stick with the. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Would you rather have a Camaro or a Mustang? Mustang. Mustang? Mustang? All right. Now, one more question. Would you rather have an Audi or a BMW? BMW. All right. BMW? Okay. And All then right. what do you think Jack would say for both those questions? Yeah. Would Jack rather have a Camaro or a Mustang? There might be a reward Camaro. if you get it right. Oh, okay. And, <laughs> and then... For sure, Audi. Okay. <laughs> All right. Thank you for your time, sir. We will report back to you and see if you're right or not. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs>
I think we know this is obvious. We should take a BMW or an Audi. Depends on which. The model. Yeah, that's what that's Jack That's what said. everyone is saying. That's what Jack said. If it's an RS6, RS6 over Audi. Okay. All right, we'll, we'll put, put Audi. Audi. Yeah. I'd but. take an RS6 over like a M3 M4. Okay. All right, and then it's Michael. Really? Yeah, Michael picked BMW. Interesting. What does that say about him? Let's go talk to him. <laughs> That would be recording. Yeah, let's yeah. do it. Where's Michael at? Uh, he's out working on an Audi. Oh, no way. Yeah, Audi? Yeah. Wait, that's actually hilarious. Yeah, that's why he's I like the, Audi so much. Yeah. He's the only one in the office who didn't say Audi <laughs> over BMW. He said, so now you gotta walk up to him and say, Michael, what well, are you doing? Yeah, Molly's yeah. real. <laughs> let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> Michael, you're the only one in the office who said BMW over Audi. Really? And look yeah. at you. Look, look what you're you, doing. Look what you're, look what you're on. doing. Uh, it's not my choice. <laughs> you're forced to do this. <laughs> That's so. I'm really the only oh, one. Oh yeah. BMW. Yes, right. Yeah. Wow. Okay. He said RS6 over anything. Yeah. 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 I'd say RS8 if anything. Yeah. 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 RS8. Yeah. Or the R8. 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 I'm gonna say RS8. What are you? <laughs> Saudi Prince. You gotta do that. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. I mean, I'm a little biased. He's worked at BMW. This is funny. It's ironic. Yeah. In my old age, we had a German plate in the front. A German plate? We had a German plate. So if I had an Audi, that's probably right there. We had a German plate in the front and an American one in the back. It was, we never got it registered here in Texas. It was only registered in California. Didn't get pulled over in California once for a German plate. Didn't get pulled over here once for a German plate. Interesting. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Surprisingly. Well, we technically, you still had a plate on the front. Yeah. A plate. Surprisingly, there's a lot of Germans in Texas. One right here. You're German? Yeah. Half German, half Italian. Nice. I prefer German. <laughs> so he yeah. said, what, the suspension for the airbags? Yeah. So it's basically, in a sense, blown out, right? There's a yeah. hole in it. So oh, yeah. it doesn't I know all about air that. up anymore. So, yeah. Oh, damn. Play some one side? Yeah. Happened to my old day. Audi Come. problems. Yeah. Audi problems. Yeah. This is for the coolant that runs through the supercharger to keep it cool. Oh, uh, before you like, before I secure the blower and put everything around it and the you know, belts and everything, I'm gonna make sure that it doesn't leak. Good I gotta, idea. I gotta hook stuff up and- That would be a Rango mistake. And it's gonna be sick. I move some wires, cut it out of loom, pull it back, you know, and I wanted to get more length and get the- All right, back here with our Wicked V 1000 horsepower project. Uh, last time we had uh, just got the, vehicle, the engine and transmission in, uh, finished up some of the fuel line coming from the tank, running up to the engine. A lot of the stuff we did on top was to finish the fuel lines, combining the stock pump, uh, wiring it into the aftermarket auxiliary pump that we installed, teeing it off and wiring it off in order to make the returns uh, to the regulator, as well as the feeds to the front of the fuel rails. We mocked up the blower placement in order to find out where we need to put our coils uh, due to this huge Magnuson blower, kind of relocated our coil situation. Uh, got that kind of figured out. We got an LMP uh, can for catch can uh, that we're going to utilize. Blower mock-up helps us work out where we're gonna run the lines fitment-wise on the coils and the LMP can. Next up is going to be priming of the fuel system, checking for leaks. going off. <laughs> just tagging to the main track. No big deal. Yeah. yeah. Stealing uh, the national treasure. You said it, not me. Yeah. Okay. 